Hey, Snickers, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. You're in my house. Behave. Okay, tonight we're back with Gecko Linux 150, a Sousa based distro. It's been around for a little while. The last one I didn't have much luck with. This, some things just wouldn't work for me, especially in video drivers section. That's another story which we'll come to, okay? Fully installed, onto a hard disk, super duper. Nice. See, so told you at the start, so we know where we're going. Now, this is the Cinnamon desktop, although you can get other ones, okay? But we'll come to that a little bit later. Right, where to start? Well, as it's already installed, the Calamaro's installer is no longer on the screen, okay? And the language installer, I've already done to put all the extras in for all the bits and bobs that we need. So yeah, being basic cinnamon, we've got me down there, sneaky. The day and time, and what we're doing, uh, Ethernet, my clipboard, simple screen recorder, which I've installed from the repositories, pulse audio volume, and show desktop, that's okay. And I've added this little widget here for my disk uses, net, memory, etc. So if I hover it over, it will say exactly what's going down inside my machine. Okay. And over here we normally have Firefox and file systems. I've got the file system. There we go. <clears throat> so I've got 893.6 gigabytes free. Because I've actually not installed too much, to be honest with you. But hey, you know it's here. If I go to videos and open it up for you, you'll see this is the one we're doing now. That's the one actually being recorded right now. Right here. Right now. Yeah, I know. Right. Let's get going. What have we got in Gecko Linux? Oh, it's Sousa. So, okay. But it's Cinnamon. So let's have a look. First thing I'm going to do is take you to... Dun, 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 the system settings. So what backgrounds have we got? Um, only one. But that's no big deal, is it? Because you can download as much as you want. Bish boss. Another thing is, once you get going, if you had your own background, nobody will be able to tell what you're running. Really, would they? Well, they won't be able to tell, because Linux is Linux and we can do what we want with it. So yeah, that's that bit. Oh, click the wrong button, sorry about that. So, where was it? Yeah, backgrounds. Effects. It's okay. Window effects are on, all my effects are on, cinnamon style and startup, no overlay on scroll bars. You can customise it if you want to, but I don't want to, so we'll go backwards there. Fonts and themes, which is great. Accessibility, account details, applets. Let's have a look. What we got for applets? Now this is what I actually installed to get my little thing down here for memory, CPU and disk. There are lots of others, but these are the ones you can install that are already there. But you can download quite a few more, so you can do a weather one, a Windows list, a CPU temperature indicator, place center, a cinema menu, multi-core monitor, which I've already got, screenshot and recall desktop, with one click. Ooh, that's a nice little one, isn't it? Oh, I like the look at that. We might uh, have a look at that soon. A graphical hardware monitor, so that's sort of a sticky notes, yeah. A CPU monitor, another one. Bulgarian radio and TV streams. I might go and see one of my neighbours. He might like that. A GitHub Explorer. Best we don't talk about that too much at the moment, but I know he is still, the Gecko Linux guy, is actually still hosting on GitHub, okay? If that's a problem for you. I don't foresee it being a big problem at the moment, okay? Not, not for a long while, okay? Well, there's loads more here, but I'm not going to go into too many, because you can go and have a look yourself. You can get it as a live CD, so there's no problem, okay? Date and time, desklets as well, it's another little thing. So if I double-click it, you can add some more stuff, so we can have, add a clock, a launcher, digital photo frame. If you go to download, you can get all these little things, like a Google Calendar that supports all your Google stuff that's on your desktop all the time. Super! A chronometer, Oh, clock to you and me. Calendar! More calendars! A crypto coin sticker! The list goes on, and I think there's even more you can get on top of this, okay? So we'll go back. Desktop extensions general. You can add hot corners if you want to. I just haven't, to be honest with you. I did give it a try, but it wouldn't launch some applications, but that's probably my fault, okay? Preferred applications, privacy, yeah, it's all here. Windows, Windows tiling, how many workspaces you want. Bluetooth color display, if I go to display. Open him up. It recognises my monitor, no problem. It knows exactly what my monitor is. I like that. Install your graphics tablet, change your keyboard, sound, my system info, so we we'll double click on here. All looks hunky dory to me. Yes, all working well. Go back. Users and group and Yoast, which is their installer and updater, basically. But if you've used Susan before, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's the first bit out of the way. Next. Next here we have install and remove software. So if I'll click on it, it's going to ask me for my password, so we'll type it in. If I remember the right one. Is that the right one? Yeah, I think it is. And as you can see, the monitors down here are doing stuff, okay? 
as you can see. The disc's doing stuff, the net's doing stuff, and the stuff's doing stuff. So, let's just say, we want to install the program. So if I go to Shortcut, you don't find this in some Debian repos for some reason, but you should be there all the time. So if I click Enter, Shortcut is already there. So we'll install that for you in Yoast 2. Yeah, so what else we're going to do? So go Accept. Oh, it wants all that stuff. Now, will that install without any... Ooh. Soon find out if that's going to install okay. We click on continue. It whizzes on down, can you see? Nice and quickly downloaded all the stuff we need. There's been no errors, so there's no compatibility problems. So that's all hunky dory to me. And now it's installing all the stuff. It's quite a big program, but it needs a lot of stuff. Yeah. But when you get it, especially if you're doing 4K video, you're going to love it. Okay, that seems to be done. Okay, we'll click finish. We'll go back to our menu and see if we're still there. So that'll be under sound and video. Ooh, ooh, there it is. So we'll open shortcut. First bit is always a bit slow. Will it open? Yes, it opens. Oh, I'm loving. Mm -mm -mm. So we've got to help about shortcut. Now, I'm not sure if that's the latest version, but don't quote me on it. But I'm not going to check anymore. So you can get any editor you like. Okay. Well, should I get Caden Live? No, you can do it yourself. But you can get Caden Live, Open, Shot, anything you want to. You can install Lightworks, etc, etc. Anyway, we've done that, didn't we? So also over here, we've got Lock Screen, because it's Cinnamon, Log Out, and Quit. Now, we'll go down to Graphics. <clears throat> it doesn't come with too much, so I installed Gimpage. So when I click on Gimpage, pshoom. See, normally SUSE doesn't do this. This is why you've got to do SUSE on real hardware, okay? It's a big old hefty bear, really. There's lots of stuff to it. But this is quite nice, actually, to be honest with you. I'm quite impressed. Back to menu. Back to graphics. Done getting confused, didn't we? Uh, oh, dark table if you're into your photography. So, I mean, that's, that's quite snappy, isn't it? We're just going to call it snappy. I like snappy. Do you like snappy? It's great. And the internet, I've only installed Google Chrome myself. Firefox is default. So, if I can Google Chrome up. This should be reasonably fast. Yeah, that's super. Does it play videos okay? Yeah, I suppose so. Should we give it a try? So I put me in. And I'm at the top there, so we click on there. Uh, it's one of my old Linux Cider ones from donkeys years ago. I am going to do another Linux Cider video. And we're going to do it bit by bit with you, okay? So we click on it anyway. And wait for this advert to get out of the way. I nearly said a, a silly word, didn't I? So we'll skip that ad. We'll go to the middle. And this was one of my really old 720p cameras. There was no stabilisation. Always is on the phone with no stabilisation. But yeah. It plays videos, no problem whatsoever. So don't you worry about it, okay? Don't you worry. But yeah, it works alright. Super duper. Right, we're going to open the Fox up for you. <clears throat> and we're going to have a look at Gecko Linux, okay? So if we go to Gecko. Remember how to spell it, that is. Click Enter. I've already been there before, just to make sure. As you can see, it's still at GitHub. If you go here to download it, this is the most current one I got today. So it came out a couple of days ago, maybe three days ago. So you go to download here. You get the static edition. This is what I'm using here. I'm not using the rolling, okay? Just static. So it's based on OpenSUSE Leap. Whereas if you want the rolling release, it'd be really based on a tumbleweed. But uh, some of you may prefer static. So here you get Cinnamon, XFCE, GNOME. Yes, it is GNOME. Plasma, Mate, no budgie on it, unfortunately. LXQT, and there's a bare bone system, but just just the base bits and put all your stuff on that you want, okay? And the same down here, budgie is no longer available down there. There is a next one as well, so it's a, a plasma next if you want to give that a go, but that's not everybody's cup of tea, is it really? But all updates okay, it all runs okay, I'm quite impressed. Finally, I mean, that's a work. If this was a work machine and you had this at work, I think this would be fantastic, especially for the office stuff. Okay, so if we go and open up Impress, which I use quite a lot for school now, see how quick that is, and also templates and all that. So we can just open that one up and open it. There you go, look, off you go. Do your stuff, do your stuff. Nice. I'll open one more bit of the office suite up again. Uh, we'll just go to Calc, might as well. Bush, do you know what I mean? Over the top. So yeah, for office work and, and doing stuff at an office or a home office, ideal. 
sound and video right i installed shortcut as you know i installed obs and i installed simple screen recorder clementine my favorite music player at the moment this is quite a cue i like quite a cue actually that's really good it's very good vlc by default nice so there's plenty there for you the rest is under administration so you can change things here and this is all elsewhere i've got htop i installed by the way just to make sure as you can see while recording at 60 frames a second in 1080p this is about 1.39 gig now bearing in mind most systems that are a few years old have four to eight gig anyway okay they have four to eight gig one of the downsides to this though as you can see up here under the swap where's all the new bunters that don't actually take an enormous amount of swap they just give you two gig swap file or folder now uh, SUSE here or gecko linux still takes oh, most of my ram basically so the same amount of ram as i'm using so the swap here it's using is 30 foot was not using it's got available with 34.4 gigs that's space i could be using for something else isn't it really when you think about it but as you can see most of the processors here are simple screen recorder so yeah that's hunky dory right administration that wasn't it i forgot where i was then you can change your kernel settings here as well there's lots of stuff that you can delve into that i didn't actually realize was here partitioner my printer just i plugged it in turned it on auto done anything for me a security center i'll open it up for you uh, i have opened this up before by the way i'll wait for it to come up and it comes up here a little bit of drinkage while it's waiting about it and that's just to check as you can see my stuff is not totally secure here yeah. so if i'm going to continue using this machine i need to change some stuff okay uh, password settings okay so when it uh, asks you if you want me to do your new passwords for you and save them you can do this okay and it will encrypt them in sh uh, sorry s h a fifth or five one two or any of these ones but five one two that'd be super duper and the password h blimey super i'm liking it boot settings login settings user additions and miscellaneous i just love miscellaneous it's great Okay, we're nearly at the end of the video now. There's not much to show you more, really. The preferences is all under the control panel, so yeah, that's all there, so I ain't really worried. So administration was basically the last one. Oh, Snapper's here as well. Sudo. Sudo, sudo image writer, so if you want to flash a USB key, it's there for you. Or a USB card, or a mini card, and a system monitor. I'll open it up for you, just so you can see right at the end of the video. What's he doing? Not too much, really, is it? It's not doing much at all. Yeah, it's not even at 50 percent not at all but it's having a good old go there at sharing out all the information between all the cores and threads nice anyway gecko linux SUSE based this release i actually rather like it's quite good yeah i'm liking it. nice go and give it a try yourself the download's about 1.3 gig if you just want to give it a play and put it on the key super duper sneaky linux out i see you later. bye bye